We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. The Blackhawks take possession to get this one underway. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Takes the shot. Trapper save. Picked up along the boards by McAvoy. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here he is from the slot. Stops him again. Picked up along the wall by Pasternak. And that carries off a body in the lane. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Pasternak's got that snipe zone ability, which is that wicked accuracy from shooting when the puck is nice and settled. Boston's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And it was on the player in front. And the save. Amazing, amazing. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Saka's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Here's a shot. Big time blocker stopped by Olmark. Swing and a miss. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Here's a blast. Oh, stop right there. They are slowing it out like bees here in the ozone. And they skate it out of the danger zone. And he loses control here. Lindholm's lugging the puck. Feed to Saka. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! I can't remember the last time a goal's been scored against him, James, but that's going to do it. That's going to end the streak. But he has been unbelievable. Tracking, dialed in, and making so many amazing saves. The Bruins finally break the ice and get the game's first goal. Yeah, and it's an important one, James, because there's not much room out there and not much separating these two teams. So that little bit of a cushion may give them the stir, the press they need to be more consistent trying to get another one on the board. Oh, he's got a step. Oh, beautiful save on the play. And you got to love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender is so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. It's critical. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. The Blackhawks take control of the faceoff. Into the attacking area from the left side. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. The Blackhawks get a hold of the draw. Great heads up play with the stick by Haig. Handles the pass from the right side. Pass out front, and that's intercepted. And he takes the feed. And skilled use of the stick to hook the puck away. Taken along the wall by Geeky. Fabry's got it in the defensive end. Tries to feed it over to Geeky. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the puck. What a stop! Quick pass over to Radish. Up the neutral zone now. Boston's got control of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. Hannafin stick handling in his own zone. Throws it in. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Dishes it to McAvoy. Nice zone entry from the left. Centering feed. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Here he is in close. And he comes up big with the stick save. 
getting all of it with the paddle. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Sends it over to Clifton. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Pass to Boquist. Here's a short pass to Frederick. His reflexes on display tonight. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Boston's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Handles it again. Tries to get the puck to Zaka. Centering in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Beautiful 360 with the puck. Quick pass to McAvoy. That's using the body on the block. I going to see who's crossed the line and gained the zone. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Can't keep a hold of it. Carlos got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Haig. And he slides it quickly to Pasternak. Centering feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. Here in the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. The Blackhawks win the defensive zone faceoff. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves the puck. Receives the pass. Higgs got the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Quinn. Scooped up along the wall by Bedard. On the rush. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Grabbed along the board by Winberg. And there's a great save by Omar. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Inside the final minute of the first here. Gets the puck over to Hall. Boston's on the attack. Center and key. Can't connect on the play. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, Cheryl. He's going to on the back and he buries it. Well, we've seen this often from him, James. The goaltender can't get a good read on the back end. And as a result, this one finds the back of the net. Man, he makes this play look easy, doesn't he, James? He scores on the back end yet again. How many times has he done it? If he works on this in practice, he must. Because I'm telling you right now, I could not pull this off. Chicago's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Directed over to Saka. The Bruins take it along the wall. Gets in front of it. Swimmering P. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Puck exits the zone. Picked up along the boards by Taves. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Haynes tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. Boston's got possession here in the neutral zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Boston's moving it up the ice. Let's move to the middle. Breaks it off the 
post. Split feed. Jones crosses the line and is on the attack. Boston's got possession of the puck. Lindholm's taking it from his own end. The Bruins will play it against the boards. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Tries to get it to Winberg. The Bruins play it along the wing. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Moves it quickly over to Reinhardt. And he takes the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Feeds it down low. And it's a quick pass to Murphy. Great save by Swingin'. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older. And this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Here's an odd man rush. Pokes it away in his own end. It's a straight up race for the puck. Sends a pass over. And he passes it up ahead to Fabry. Picked up along the wall by Murphy. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Oposo. Takes it to the net. Oh, a clutch save. Puck picked up by Geeky. Slides it to White. A little back and forth. Oh, what a denial by Omar. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. And now it's over to Reichel. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Cheryl, the name of the game is winning, but you got to think ownership's loving these pack houses night after night after night. Show me the money, James. The concessions <laughs> yes. are lined up, and you can certainly see the colors of the team being worn by all of these people in the seats. you got to believe this franchise is pretty happy. Moves the puck to Clifton. Takes the pass. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Tosses it on to Athanasiu. Takes the feed from the goaltender. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Scores! And they're cooking now. Uh, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. Chicago's extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal push in here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Quick feed to Tube. Slittering feed! Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Takes a bump and still hangs on to the puck. Made the save on the play. Allmark's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong for the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Bedard's won a big draw on their own end. Boston's got the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's deflected. Kane's got it along the boards. Dumps it in. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And there's the save. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. McAvoy's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And here comes the judgment from the official. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping ball. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, and that one comes up 
short as he just gets enough of that one. Hallmark's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. From the right side, moves it up ahead. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Here's a chance! Fantastic save! Allmark's aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. Tosses it to Benito. Puts it on net. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. With possession along the wall. And that's blocked in traffic. And he's ridden off the puck. Here he is in front. Scores! Well, I guess they weren't saved by the bell there. Uh, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now, heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. The Bruins get the break they need here late in the second. Sometimes when it gets late in a period, you have more urgency in your step, and they were certainly more aggressive in that last shift, and it showed, and they attacked the net. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Players are set. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. And this one's underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line. And this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Boston's got to trust the process here in the third period, James. I mean, it looks like they bought into the game plan through the first 40 minutes, and often when you stick to it, it all works out. Now, they're trailing by one, so they are going to have to get on their course. They're going to have to be urgent on those loose pucks. But the way they've played thus far, they have a chance to win this game. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kane. Taken along the wall by McAvoy. Lindholm's moving the puck through his own zone. Fires it! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. What a steal in his own end. The Blackhawks will play it through the neutral zone. Taken by Kane. There's a stop with the blocker by Swayman. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. And that's poked away by Haig. From one point man to another. That goes off a twig. Moves it on over to Tube. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Great poise here as he gets it back. Drills him. The Bruins will play from the defensive zone. Oh, look at this chance. To his teammate. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Handles the puck. Just wide of the net. Chicago's grabbed a hold of the puck. Verona's got it across the line. Slides it across to Haig. Now a quick pass to Wenberg. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Well saved made by Omar. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Boston's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Chicago's won the defensive zone draw. Grabs the puck. Chicago's in transition. Boston's ready to go on the attack. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Quick feed to Murphy. Takes the feed. Great use of the stick at center by Fabry. Moves it around along the half wall. Denies him in front. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone. Chicago's across the blue line. Denied by the goaltender. Boston's looking to break out. Slides the puck to Kiki. Sends the pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Puts it in deep. The Bruins have it now. 
Takes the return feed. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And he comes up with it. Here's a short pass to White. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Fires one. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. Well, the goaltender heard the ping and was hoping that that puck redirected out of the net. Unfortunately, this time it goes in. The Bruins tie things up and suddenly we're in next goal win territory, Cheryl. Yeah, these last minutes are critical in this game and you know that the big mistake that happens, it could be the last one. Puck picked up in the open ice. Frederick's got it in the offensive zone. Denies him in close. And that pass is redirected. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And he loses control of the puck. Here's a chance behind the net. Oh, he'll feel that one. Quick pass to Athanasiu. Chicago's got it along the wall. And that's blocked away. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Bruins have it now. With some open space at center. McAvoy's got it along the boards. And that's blocked. He's got two goals already. Puck's on his stick. He's hunting his third. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. Puck grabbed by Clifton. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. Boston's got the puck along the wall. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. The Bruins have it against the wall. Boston's got it in their own zone. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Hannafin. Puck hops onto the bench, and we got a stoppage in play. The Rangers are coming up for the next game, and I was just told a little while ago that a few extra seats have been released for this one, so if you haven't got your tickets yet, you know what to do. Reinhardt's won the draw at center. Poked away at center by Radish. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Feeds it to Fabry. Gaining momentum up along the side. Sends the feed in front. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, wow, what a pad save by Swingin. Feeds the puck over to Haig. Slides it across to Winberg. The Bruins played along the boards. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Here they come on the attack. There's the horn bringing an end to regulation hockey, and it's been a tense one here tonight. And guess what? The intensity's going to ramp up to another level because sudden death overtime is coming up. Oh, you can feel the tension in this arena. Sudden death overtime is underway. The Blackhawks played along the boards.